So you might think we're busy sailing around the world right now, since we got our boat all fixed up and a new motor and all that. You might think we're just enjoying ourselves out in the open blue waters, wandering the seven seas like vagabonds. Not la vagabond, they make a lot of money. Either way, you'd be wrong. We figured it was time to fix this rust bucket of a trailer up and get the boat back on it, especially since we have to pay for a slip. The worst part is that we've only used the slip a few times in the four months we've had it. And as you can see, this trailer needs a lot of work. If you look close, you can stick your finger right through the bottom. Um, that is because the trailer was open on the end, um, but it's a saltwater trailer. The first step in every story is a beginning. I began this endeavor by grinding off all the old paint and rust using a combination of an angle grinder, wire wheels, and a grinding pad. It wasn't easy, and in 90 degree heat I sweat more than my weight in water. At the same time I was grinding off all the paint, I was teaching myself how to weld. The next step in this process was removing all the old hardware. These springs were lodged in pretty good, so I had to cut them off. Once again, back to the old angle grinder. So today I'm going to be grinding this guy off. Let's see if I can actually do it. I've never done this before. Um, I have to go right along the wells. Uh, yeah, so, but honestly I haven't done any of this before. I haven't even sailed before, so. This is all a learning experience. To tell you the truth, I'm probably gonna sail the dang boat right after this anyway, because. I need power. Let me give you a few words of wisdom. Don't be an idiot. Grinding steel is hot and potentially dangerous. I should have worn long sleeves, better face protection, and some shoes. Instead, I kept cursing and smelling burnt hair. So, do yourself a favor and wear the right stuff, folks. Okay, so I cut the whole tongue off. 
um, just because it was so rusty I couldn't get all the way through those welds without damaging it. So uh, it turns out it's really hard to find um, steel. Yeah, I bought, uh, this is uh, two and a half inch, and then I bought a sleeve that's gonna go over this that's three inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this um, eighth inch on so it fits in snug. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of bolts in, and then uh, we're gonna go from there. Also, I damaged my GoPro by throwing so many sparks at it. Ooh, I'll have to show you guys. Dang. All right, without a doubt, this was the most difficult part of this rebuild. I wanted to make sure this thing is extra strong, so I put one half inch bolts in four different places along the new tongue. That meant I had to drill one half inch holes through about three quarters of an inch of steel. All right, here's what I'd be remiss if I didn't reiterate what I said earlier. Always wear the proper safety gear. I forgot my gloves this time, and as a result, I was sporting some minor wounds while bits of rusty metal flew off at speeds in excess of 10 billion miles an hour. I even looked down at one point and realized I had not one, but two pieces of wire stuck in my finger. Don't skip on the safety gear when working with this sort of stuff. You'll thank me later. All right, so uh, these are some of the reasons that I was taking this trailer apart. And uh, unfortunately, whoops, unfortunately I found some more damage. Um, I'm not worried about it, thankfully, and I already know what it's from. But if you look close, you can stick your finger right through the bottom. Um, that is because the trailer was open on the end, um, but it's a saltwater trailer. And when you bring it in to let it sit, all that salt water sits right down on the bottom and it's been rotting straight through. Uh, good thing is, is the sides are okay. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but that's about a half an inch of steel uh, between that and the brace that I put inside. And there's one, two, three, four um, attachments on that. So as long as the side's good and all the other welds are good, which they look pretty good, uh, I'm not worried about driving this anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing welded up. Um, yeah. And we'll continue. Oh, also, it's you know, it's only 200 degrees out today, so not a big deal. Let's take my shirt off. And just so you don't get bored and lose interest, here is a little bit of a sailing. This is what it's all about. Yep, you're fine. Oh, my feet! My foot! Daddy, this is where the water is. What? Hong Kong! Why is what? 
But all good things come to an end, and it's time to get back to work. We used one coat of primer and three coats of enamel to coat the entire frame after scraping it all down one last time. I sprung for Rust-Oleum, based on some reviews that I read. We'll see how well it does in the salt water, and I'll obviously keep everybody updated. But in the heat between rainstorms, it took us about an hour per coat. Not bad for something that should last for the rest of my life, I hope. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, sorry it's been a while. I've been really busy. Um, but hopefully we'll have some more footage for you soon. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more sailing, especially once we get the boat back on the trailer. It's really funny. We thought we were going to sail a lot while it's in the slip. However, it takes us about an hour and a half to two hours to get anywhere fun from our slip. And uh, the great thing about a trailer sailor is that I could take the boat and launch anywhere. So hopefully pretty soon uh, you'll get to see the finished product of the trailer. Uh, I'm kind of, if you can tell, I'm in... Uh, a different state right now. I came up to Tennessee to see my mom and dad and uh, okay before I accidentally cut myself off again I want to say thanks for everybody's support. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, I'm gonna get some videos of me motorcycling while I'm up here so uh, you'll get to see a little bit different but that's part of being a trailer sailor and adventuring right is doing some new things. Uh, anyway stick around hope to see you guys next time and once again thanks for the support and uh, yeah I like 290 uh, subscribers now, so sh guess I'm doing something right, right? Yeah, N next time I'll, I'll have a giveaway. I was thinking of giving away a boat. Um, no, that's not going to happen. I don't have enough money for that, so, yep, bye.